let's go ahead and get started. We have quarterback Garrett Green. Questions for Garrett? Greg? So Garrett, I mean, practice has started, though you guys are working on summer, but do you feel different now? And, and how do you feel going into camp? Oh, uh, yeah, I feel good. Um, you know, we had a really good summer, um, you know, especially on the offensive side of the ball. I can't really – can't really say about defense, you know, we, we don't work out together, um, but offense, we, we got stronger, we got in better condition. Uh, Mike Joseph did a really good job about, you know, making us, making us look like contenders. Um, so it, it's been great to, to get out there and, you know, run around with the boys. Receivers, obviously some returners. Do you feel comfortable with the new guys yet? How long does that take before you get that time? Yeah, I think both uh, J-Rob and uh, Jaden Bray, they, they did a great job, you know, ever since they got here of, you know, finding time to either catch routes, you know, run run our plays, or you know, w watch tape, and just so we can kind of get on the same page. And they they've done a great job since they've since they've been here. Um, you know, now now we kind of just get to do it against against the defense. Speaking of, Justin Robinson, what's the difference of having a receiver that shows up months earlier versus someone who signs in June? And you're kind of, I would imagine, you don't know him as well and don't know his running pattern. Yeah, I think there's there's some difference. Um, obviously, you know, with just comfortability, just because you know I had I had a whole six months before J. Rob got here to to throw with Jaden Bray, but you know J. Rob's such a good kid. Um, he's, he's a great people person, so me and him clicked clicked right away. Um, and you know that kind of led the off season, you know, or the off field relationship kind of led to to on the field connection. Did you get him well before? Is that what you're saying? No, no, no like as soon as he got as soon as he got on campus, you know, we kind of hit it off, and you know, we, we've been good friends. Where are you at with the mechanical stuff that you started in the spring and through the summer to now? Walk me through that a little bit. Where, where are you at with all that? Yeah, I, f I feel really good. Um, you know, this little break that we had before um, before fall camp started, I was down there with, with our tight end, Cole Taylor. Uh, we spent four days down there working with him, just getting, you know, getting a final tune-up before, you know, th bullets got flying for real. Um, and, you know, I, I feel really good about my mechanics um, and, and where my game's at. This is in lay terms. Is it about follow through your hips? What are some of the things that you work on that you remind yourself of? We'll just go like feet, feet, like feet alignment. I think that's the the simplest way to put it. Is just you know alignment with with my feet. The catch radius that some of your big receivers and yeah. tight ends give you. I mean Robinson's obviously mm -hmm. very tall. Cole, how what what difference does that make for a quarterback? Yeah, I mean you don't have to be perfect. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, if I was throwing myself out there, you know, the quarterback would have to be pretty damn perfect. But um, throwing guys like uh, throwing guys like Cole, J. Rob, even Jaden Bray, um, and then Greg, uh, you know, their catch radius is is huge. Um, so you kind of just have to have to put it on them, uh, and and they'll come down with it. When you went with Mannings, what is that like, and uh, what what do you get there that you don't get like here? I think. I think they do a great job of kind of balancing, you know, being it's kids camp um, and, you know, because that, that's the whole reason why all these college counselors go down there is to help teach the kids um, and kind of pass the game forward. But I think they do a great job of also, you know, letting the, the college guys get some work in, you know, not only with the Mannings, but with, with all the other top guys in the country. So I think it's just great to, to kind of see, see how your game stacks up against, against the nation's best. Only best. Two, you've been there two years mm -hmm. now, right? Uh, what have you taken out of there that, that, that sticks with you the most? Yeah, I, I think just overall, you know, daily preparation, uh, you know, whether it's for, for our fall camp practice or, you know, it's for a Tuesday game week practice. You know, I think the, the preparation and, you know, the kind of the steps before you officially take the field, um, I, I think that's something that, that I'll carry with me. What's going to be a good season for you? What, what, are the, what are some of the things, what are some of the goals you have? Uh, Big Top Champions. Personal? Yeah. If, if, I, if I do my job, um, if I do my job at a high enough level, we'll, we'll get there. Your okay. review with Coach Brown mentioned looking like a contender, looking like a Power 5 contender in terms of work in the weight room and everything. Has that kind of been an off-season mantra, a goal, and do you see it across the board? I would say that's necessarily like a goal. Like we're not trying to look like bodybuilders, uh, but I think just you know that, that's a testament to Mike Joseph uh, and you know his whole staff from from Vince to Meadows, um, really to everybody there that um, they're really good at their job. And you know we, we've had 
we've had a high amount of buy-in from the guys, you know, really, really uh, giving their all to getting their body in the best best shape possible to where, you know, in, in football, it's, it's really not as hard. It's not a, you know, something where you want to look like a bodybuilder. Is it more recovery, injury prevention, things like that? I think yeah, it's kind of the, the whole picture, you know, because fr from working out to, you know, the conditioning to also eating the right, sleeping the right stuff, um, you know, getting treatment and all that stuff, I think it's kind of a, a holistic approach. Um, I think our guys have, have done well and they've bought in with that. How good the nutrition program is mm -hmm. and, and, and kind of how much it's improved. Um, do, do you guys as players, do you see stuff like that? I mean, do you recognize it if you, when behind the scenes stuff like that is, is getting better? Yeah, I think so. And I think I can brag on, you know, Haley and Bailey uh, a little bit here. Um, you know, they – They've really done a, done a great job with, with me and my development. You know, I mean, I came here at like 170-something. Um, and Haley's been here with me for four years, and Bailey's been here for two. Um, and, and they're great communicators, and they, and they kind of know, know what, what you like to eat and, you know, stuff like that to where you don't have to eat just spinach and, you know, we're not all Popeye, you know. So I think she's done a great job of kind of personalizing all the plans, um, you know, giving you the tools and stuff, like especially out there at practice day. Like, me and Nico are, are, you know, heavy sweaters, and she's, she's making sure that we're getting electrolytes, you know, sodium, all that stuff to make sure we don't lose a lot of weight. So, you know, they, they've done a phenomenal job since I've, since I've been here of, you know, getting the program, getting the nutrition program where, where it needs to be. Anything my mom cooks. <laughs> <laughs> I meant to anything here. Oh. <laughs> oh, I thought you were talking about in general. Um, I don't know, I've gotten big into avocado toast. I don't know, it's kind of cliche, but I've gotten big into it. Y'all mentioned yesterday the job Sophia has done mm -hmm. with psychology. Have you had to, not had to, have you made use of, uh, of her services at all? And, uh, uh, you know, what, what, what does she add? Yeah, so me and her, we, we meet once a week. Uh, we meet every Tuesday morning or, like, kind of after, after practice, after I shower up and stuff. Uh, we meet every, every Tuesday afternoon, I guess, um, and kind of just – just giving me tools to kind of slow the game down because obviously, you know, when, when bullets are flying and, you know, th things can get crazy out there. So I think, I think it's important for you to find a way to kind of center yourself and ground yourself to, to let your brain process information clearly. And I think she's done a great job of, of allowing me to do that. Are you going in there first time maybe? Or? Um, I mean, yeah, yeah. I think, I think as guys, you know, you never really want to talk about your mental, um, but, you know, as as society nowadays, I, I think it's it's important that you know guys guys get get the help they need to. Neil out in Las Vegas uh, talked about how he thought you were undersold. He thought Jaheim was a little bit undersold. What's your thoughts on all that? I don't care. Um, you know, Jaheim's one of the most electrifying players in the country, um, and you know, I, I'm. I'm I'm the guy that you know we we, we need a, at quarterback. So I don't really I don't really care about opinions other than than the people in this building. How is the uh, helmet communication systems going? Like, do you guys feel like you're in a good spot with that? Yeah, yeah, yeah it's been great. Um, it, it's it's kind of cool to 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 hear Coach Brown. And I don't have to keep looking to the sidelines and stuff. Um, so so that that part of it's been good. Um, and I think as fall camp goes on, just like we did with spring, we'll kind of work out some of the kinks. Um, to where August 31st, we're, we're rocking and rolling. What's the, biggest, what's the biggest challenge with that? Is it like being too wordy in a play call? Is it not being able to hear that correctly? What's the biggest challenge with that? Uh, I think there's, there's a good balance between, you know, giving enough information and then giving too much information. Um, and I think me and Coach Brown kind of worked through that uh, in the spring to where these last few days it really hasn't been, hasn't been an issue. Like I've gotten the calls right and I've been able to, to kind of go through all my pre-snap process and, and things like that. After the bowl game, Neil said there were times he forgot he could talk to you. Yeah. Are, are, have you had the opposite where you forgot he, you know, is in your head and all of a sudden he's there? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I mean, he, 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 he makes sure he's heard. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah, no, in the bowl game, the bowl game was kind of like, you know, a law of the state. Like, we, it, he could talk to me, like, up through through the play. So, you know, luckily they've gotten that fixed. So you feel like a senior? I mean, do you think this is my last first day of camp? Is that struck you or is that something you pay attention um, to? You know, I've tried not to think about it. Um, you know, I'm trying to just come to work every day uh, to help this team win a Big 12 championship. 
Um, so that's kind of been my mindset. Uh, I'm sure it'll hit me at some point, uh, like senior day and things like that. But right now, I'm, I'm just trying to get to Dallas. Would you, uh, you think about quarterback top ten plays? Uh, you know, they're usually quarterback and wide receiver mm -hmm. deep, deep throws or whatever. Talk a little bit about the way you guys have incorporated the tight ends into that, and where how important your relationship is with the, with the guys at tight end. Yeah, I think it, when you look around just football in general. Um, you know, I think some of the most important pieces on, on any offense is the is the tight end. Um, you know, they, they can really they do it all. You know, especially our tight ends here. We ask them to block. You know, one on one on DN sometimes. We ask them to block in space against nickels. We also ask them to you know take shots downfield with them and you know be into long longer protection like play action. Um, so I think that they're just like a special athlete. Um, you know, with how big they are, how fast they are. You know, how soft they fans, especially with Cole. Um, I mean, Cole's a big, big frame. Um, he can run, he can catch, um, and he can also he's also great in the run fits. Um, so I think it's just kind of like like a special thing that like if you're not using them, you know, properly, you're kind of hindering yourself. Sort of like you, I mean, in a, in a totally different way, they're special athletes. I mean, they, I mean, you're you're a different kind of quarterback than yeah. than. I wouldn't say I'm built like a tight end, but. <laughs> but I mean. Uh, you, you, they're about as athletic, though, and, and do things in their own way. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, I think they're just like a special player. And, you know, you look at, the, like, the best offenses in, in the NFL with, like, the Chiefs and the Niners and stuff. Like, they find creative ways to get their, their tight ends the ball. And I think that's something that, that we have to continue here. What you accomplished last year, what would you say you – where was your biggest area of growth, you think, looking back on it? Um, probably just say, like, like being the starting quarterback – um, you know, because I think last year I really, really took like ownership of you know my preparation and stuff. Because like in in 2022 I, I didn't really didn't really know everything that entailed uh, with with being being the quarterback here. So I think like last year I really took it took it head on to you know become a pro and you know take take everything in my life uh, seriously. Is that part of why this off season this season is a little different for you because? No quarterback battle. Mm. <laughs> like yeah. from from January on. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I think it's been it's been a an interesting off season. Um, just with kind of the whole offense's maturity, just because we didn't really get a whole bunch of of new guys. Like most most everybody returned. Um, so it kind of really hasn't been a lot of like the day one stuff per se. That we've kind of been able to, to advance the playbook a little bit. Um, but then it, it's been it's been great to kind of. Be with guys like Wyatt Cole, who you know they're, they're also they're also huge parts of last year, um, and they're going to be huge parts of this year. So a lot of repeating. A lot of repeating. Re you're you're doing things over and over. You're oh. starting to get oh. that. Yeah. I, don't. <laughs> I thought you were saying I was repeating. No, no, oh. no. I was saying you're you're doing things that you're it's it's starting to come together second nature, right? Yeah, because I think that's that's part of confidence is, you know, logging reps and, you know, having enough reps to where, you know, you can't help but do it right. And I think that's something that Coach Brown does a, does a good job of, you know, whether we like it or not, you know, running, like, base plays, you know, over and over again, especially in, like, walkthroughs and stuff. Um, you know, getting getting to that point where it's just second nature to, to do it right. Now, I think it was the Big 12, but there's been a lot of conversation about your accuracy and improving that number and, Coach just said 60 they want you to be at to maybe contend for Commerce title. You throw out, you want to get to 65. Mm -hmm. I think it was in, 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 at Vegas. What can you tell us about what you're doing maybe differently to get there? Because I imagine there have to be some tweaks if you're trying to. That's a, that's a jump. Yeah, I think it's, you know, it's not so much like this drastic change where, like, I'm going out there throwing left-handed or, or anything. I think that it's just, you know, small, small, like, incremental changes on, you know, whether it's my feet or arm angles or – you know, touch on the ball, whether it needs a lot more touch or less velocity. Um, and also just making smarter plays, you know, not trying to throw the 50-yard go ball on the run because it's one-on-one, -on -one. you know, take may maybe just throwing it to the sideline for a four-yard gain and getting the completion and, you know, playing second and six. So I think there, there's, a, there's a lot that goes into it, um, but it may, mainly just comes down to playing smarter football and then, you know, just small little mechanical changes. Garrett, when you came here, the dual threat quarterback was – just starting to, you know, invade college football uh, what, the way it has, uh, and you know, it, it didn't look like you know the pro quarterbacks were also yeah. driving and throwing the ball. Uh, was it hard 
to to not have the NFL plum out there, or was it, or has that changed? Are you starting to think, you know, God, I got a chance to play in the NFL? Yeah, I mean, I think that like growing up, like you always want to want to play at the highest level, and you know, growing up, I was in a baseball house, so you know, I thought I was going to be be in the MLB, um, but you know, obviously it took a different route than that. Um, but you know, I'm, I'm really just just focused on this year. Um, you know, winning a big t Big 12 title for the state, uh, and then you know, come January, I'll I'll start getting getting ready for the draft. Do you, Do you see yourself as an NFL quarterback? Brown yes. talked about you and him had a talk, and he said, "You do this, you're an NFL quarterback. You do this, you're an athlete." Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, I know I know I'm good enough to play quarterback in the NFL. Yeah, I think I think it's just like fun to go see these guys like J. Rob and Cole Taylor just kind of like go up and snatch it out of the air. Um, and I think think there is less of an art, but more so just like timing and you know where you need to put it because um, it's kind of like a weird throw where you're kind of throwing it like through the DB almost. Um, but you know we've we've worked we've worked that a ton in the off season and you know Hudson Clement's actually gotten really good at them. Um, I mean, I think probably the the top seven receivers I, I can do it with, and I feel pretty confident with, because it's pretty much the same throw. It's just you know different timing. You made strides. Nico's made strides. What, what have you seen from Nico that's different than before? I think just just how he handles the game. Um, you know, I think I think it, it's easy to kind of get caught up in oh I'm a Division one quarterback. You know, especially as a young guy, like I'm guilty of it myself. Um, but I think really this last Last part of last year uh, in this off season, he's really, really bought into you know taking this as his, as his day job because it, it, at, at the end of the day it is um, you know you you're they, they call it a student athlete but you're you're the quarterback first um, and I think that he's done a great job of you know really just diving into the film room you know watching as much tape as he can learning as much as he can um, to where you know when it's his show uh, he's gonna be ready. All the um, read stuff and the RPO things you guys do, just seems like the ball never hits the ground um, clean all the time. It, I guess is that true? Because um, I only see a little bit of practice. Yeah. Um, and then just how do you get to that? Because I don't know, it's not really, I don't know, that can you practice that stuff even apart from just being out with you know one player? Yeah, so every, every single day before practice, we, we do quarterback, center quarterback, running back exchanges. Um, so that's working the mesh point to where, I can hand it off to him. I can pull it to run it. I can pull it to throw it. We work that every day, and that's something that Coach Brown really, really emphasizes. Um, and, and that's part of like the turnovers and stuff like that. Like he sees like a botch snap or you know a, a, a bad mesh. He sees that as a turnover. Um, so that that's really just been like a point of emphasis since I got here. Is you know the quarterback running back mesh, um, and a lot of it just has to do with with timing and spacing with with the wideouts. You know them being on time where they need to be. Uh, at the right time, and I think today, today we hit a couple, um, and, and they did a great job of, of being on time and where they're supposed to be. Is part of it also knowing that you know if, if it's a little bit higher, a little bit wide, that you, you just can't get that ball because it's not going to work cleanly. Just like maybe you can't make every handoff, you got to eat it sometimes. Yeah, I, I think like if it's a bad snap, um, you know, kind of just just run the run play. Um, but you know, Yates has been great this this season so far about about having good snaps. Okay, anything else to hear? Thank you guys.